Goody, my hoodies. Peace, love, and light. Welcome to Tommy Bites TV and Homestead. Y'all, today we are doing oven canning, dry canning flour. <laughs> hope you checked out my rice video where I did oven can and dry canning with that because now I'm about to do the flour and so I have self rising flour that I'm gonna do at one and then I also have all-purpose flour that I'm gonna do at one and so I have a process that I want to do myself because remember as I told you in the other video you need to go check that video out y'all but if you're going to dry can this is not recommended by the National Food Preservation uh, dot com, <laughs> uh, the website. It's not um, recommended, but like I said, they do have instructions on how to do it, and make sure you follow those instructions. Um, and also, make sure you have ten percent or less of moisture in your cans, in your, uh, nothing on your lids, none of that. Make sure you dry your lids. Make sure you clean your jars and sterilize them in the oven. So right now I have my, my uh, jars in the oven. I also have my lids in the oven. Oh, and again, if you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. And make sure you like the video comment down below, share the video, and don't forget to hit the red button and turn on your post notifications so you'll know when I upload a video. Okay, y'all, so here we go. Okay, so as you can see, I have my rings in here and I had already did the sterilization and all of that stuff when I did the rice. This is, you know, I'm doing this all on the same day, just a separate video. So I have my flour right here. I'm about to scoop my flour out and put it into the sifter over here. And then I'm gonna get it as fine as I possibly can. If you hear any popping, it's because I have rice that is, um, <laughs> that I'm trying to get situated. Um, it's already done and everything. So how have y'all been? And don't forget you have to use, you don't have to use your debubbler but use something that where you can get the air pockets out of the jars when you do it and always have your little spoon so in case you go over the three fourth um, inch that you need for it so here we go i'm just gonna sit that in there and put the flour in and this is the all-purpose flour i hope you can see what i'm doing i feel like you should be closer to me one of the reasons I do the flour, well, that I want to do the flour, because this is my first time doing the flour. I normally, if I open a bag of flour, I will put that flour in the refrigerator to try to cut back on, try to cut back on the, any bugs or anything like that. You ever notice sometimes you see something black in it or something, a bug that got in it when it was being processed? So y'all, yeah. I've been doing a lot of reading, a lot of watching other people's videos, seeing how they do it and then um, making sure that I do it the way I feel works for me. So y'all, that sifter was taking entirely too long. And break some of the, the clumps and bumps and lumps and all of that stuff. Bumps and lumps, you know, with the fork because that sifter was just taking too long. I don't 
this is not a long process, so why make it longer than it needs to be? By the time I get through doing this, um, I hope I have enough jars to do the self-rising flower. If not, I'm gonna have to go on a hunt this weekend for some more jars. It's not easy finding these jars, y'all. So you just want to try to get the lumps out. I haven't seen anybody do that. I just saw them um, go directly from the bag into their uh, jars. So again, you know, this is done with the purpose of um, cooking it in the oven to get rid of any larva, any bugs, any weevils that, that are in the bag that get there from processing, the processing plant. And I get our trusty uh, funnel. Are we still in the angle? As well. My oven is on. Let's get the feeling. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? So, I'm gonna put your funnel in. Um, hold on, drop anything on those. I'm gonna have that over there. And you're just gonna fill it up just like that. Now I think you can see everything. Make sure you get up to the 3 4 inch. If you go over, you can use your spoon. I just did by tapping it or you can use your debubbler and I'll show you when I get over here with the debubbler but yeah that's what you want to do and you'll notice I can't really touch this because it's hot but there's like flour around the rim that's why you got to make sure you clean that off so you get the seal that you are looking for Hmm? So is it? Yeah, you can can flour. Makes it last a little longer. Got the bugs getting in it. Right there, I'm gonna add a little more. 
See how that's sitting there? Now you can tap it. I think the debubbler works better. Watch for this. You're, you're creating space in there by getting rid of the air pockets. And just like that, you're where you need to be. It doesn't, for me, it doesn't matter. wiping wipe all around there too because that ring has to go on there too because I don't want to mix these up that's why I'm sitting these aside they're still the jar is still you know doing what it do it's still hot so on to on to the self rising flower that, oh, it seems like the all purpose more lumps in it than the self-rising one. Once I start um, the air pockets with the debubbler, getting that out, you'll see it'll go down. And what doesn't go down, I'll just take out with the spoon. I really wish I had the beer. 
wrapper I can. I'm just gonna knock some of that excess flour off now. And around the rim. Put these in the um, ones over here, which are my um, all-purpose flour. I'm about to add those to the oven on 225 for one hour and 45 minutes. And then when I take it back out, I'll show you me cleaning off the lid, not with anything wet, because you don't want to introduce any moisture to these jars. And then you'll, you'll see me um, do the rest. sit out on the 
counter. down to go into the pantry. Again, this is very easy to do. Only time consuming part I, for me, I think, was just uh, waiting for it to be done in the oven. extra lid because I thought I was going to have more um, bottles, jars that is, but I didn't have enough flour to do another jar, so yeah, this is the last one. flour that I have dry can oven can at 225 degrees for one hour and 45 minutes um, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned something I hope you try it most of all I hope that you try it because this is so worth doing um, to make sure that you have something when stores run out or you know deliveries can't be made by these truck drivers for whatever reason so we have flour here and this is the rice that I did earlier and they have gotten they're cooling off so they're not as hot as they were but they all popped and I look forward to these right here giving me some popperization um, so yeah y'all I hope this video, you know, just share it out. I'm so excited. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say because this is something that I have been putting off um, and wanting to um, do it, but thinking I can't do it. And I want to thank a lot of people um, that I've watched. I can't remember them all, but I know that I've watched um, Essie, I watched her do it. I watched um, Essie do it. I watched Homestead Heart did hers, um, but she didn't do the oven canning or anything like that because she actually did hers the way I want to do them, which is use the pressure canner um, and at, have the rice already cooked and seasoned, and all you got to do is just warm it up. So, but I thank all of these people for helping me. Um, feel like I can do it too and let farmer 73 I just thank everybody Shirley or I like I have won an award y'all oh I was about to pick up the wrong one honey burn my hand this is my award this is my award right here and I want to thank any and everybody you know who you are if I've been on your channel you should know because I've left you messages at the you know comment after comment so y'all please leave me comments so that I can respond to you the way they have responded to me and let's help each other let's grow and learn together and most importantly let's grow in the garden grow our food pantry because we never know when something is going to happen and I do I feel like something's going to happen possibly I've always felt like that I have other videos I can make, but I'm not going to do it because I don't know if YouTube will allow that. But anyway, y'all, y'all take care. Peace, love, and light. Thank y'all so much for joining Tiny Lights TV and Homestead. Yay, we did it, y'all. We did it. We did it. Yes, we did. I'm going to sit this here and see if I can.
to get any pings, any pops. So I'm about to label my rice. 